You too, what's going on? You know what, we just gonna skip the introduction. Uh, I noticed a lot of comments on the last video about the, those Air Jordan 2 balance. Uh, word to the wise. If you come to my channel talking crazy, I don't care how small my channel may uh, appear to you. I will entertain you for a couple of comments, then I'm just gonna block you. Cause if you really wanna have a conversation about social, political issues or any type of cultural uh, uh, appropriation, culture vultures, we can definitely have that conversation in real life. But since I know a lot of you are not willing to do that because you're scary and faceless, we'll just keep it to the comments. I'm gonna entertain you, then I might just block you. But I said what I said. It's a very dope shoe, poor execution. Anybody else could have sold those shoes out even at 300 bucks. This is a pickup from JD Sports. This is the Air Jordan 1, quote unquote taxis. The most capped Air Jordan 1 of 2022. And we're ready to unbox and I'm gonna just talk my stuff. I have nothing rehearsed for this. I don't rehearse my videos, unlike the majority of the sneaker, YouTube, network, culture, whatever it's gonna be called. I'm just gonna go right off the hip. So let's get right into it. So I I appreciate the fact that JD Sports allowed me to use my points to do a pre-order on this highly anticipated Air Jordan 1. Is it Air Jordan 1 of the year? I don't know. I just think it's super cap. If you've seen one box, you've seen them all, right? Right. So I'm glad my box didn't come in all beat up for those who need to see it. I think they were 180. Shout out to JD Sports, man. Like They really came in handy on this one. Gotta make sure I keep my points up. I would buy a lot more from them, but in stores, not that great. So this is the shoe that people want to compare to the uh, Shattered Backboard 1. Listen. <laughs> it feels just like the other Air Jordans that I own. Do I own the uh, Shattered Backboard that looks in this same color block? And no. But I'll show you some uh, shoes in a little bit. All right, let's see here. These were manufactured, uh, let's see here. This might be a long video, but I do not care. January 19th of this year to May 24th of this year. This is what the hype's about. Don't get me wrong. I definitely wanted this shoe. But I'm just trying to figure out why every YouTuber on the face of the planet that does sneakers. For one, y'all glanced over that um, former Simpson uh, yellow toe video that came out a couple years ago. Y'all glossed right over that. But y'all will jump on other people about about their shoes. These are dope. Don't get me wrong. I'm pressing all the spots and I'm like, okay. No additional laces, which is uh, an abomination if you ask me. Looks like JD Sports got a good pair. Yes, sir. They got a good pair. Some of the other stores. Extra scuffs. Glue separation. Let me know in the comments if you uh, receive shoes that has had some separation already. This is dope. No laces. That's crazy. But you know what? Looks like these laces are gonna match perfectly. 
since they don't want to give us additional laces anymore on their so-called premium shoes. I think that's a perfect match. So, for all the slow people that's going to ask, where did you get your laces from? Do your own research. You're looking right at the shoelaces, but you're going to go right to the comments and ask, where the hell I got these laces from? Do your own research, man. It's not it's not that hard. All right. Everybody else went, went with the white laces. I'm going with the taxi laces. It didn't take me long to find these either. And it shouldn't take you that long either. So probably by the end of the video, I'm probably going to just show myself lacing these up with the lace swap. And that's going to conclude the video. But there's something I've always wanted to do. Let me just put these to the side. I think I'm going to take out the right shoe. It's always something I wanted to do. And I feel like this separates me. This separates me from all the other people that's online doing sneaker videos and stuff. Let's, let's do this right quick. I'm just gonna sit this right here. I call this the Mortal Kombat Original Ninja Challenge. If you cannot do a Mortal Kombat Original Ninja Challenge with your Air Jordan 1s, fall back, all right? Let's start it off right now, okay? Hanzo Hasashi. Scorpion. Bihan. Kwayang. Reptile. Should I continue? Smoke. Rain. Air Mac. Tremor. Trimmer and trimmer. Now I know a lot of y'all didn't miss the troll, but y'all trying to tell me that this shoe does not compare to this shoe and this shoe. And this shoe? What is wrong with y'all? I'm literally touching the mid panel. And I must say. Oh yeah, let's do the people who like to wear fakes and, and yeah. Like I said, these are from JD Sports. So cut all that out. Bruh. These feel just like the pine greens. Let's pull these up. And they really don't compare to the 2.0s. So if you don't have the Shattered Bat Board OGs, just put them up against the 2.0. This is much softer. But this is still nice, but it's more like on the pine green side. But the Gatorade one is killing all three of these shoes say whatever you want these are one of the most premium air jordan ones that i've ever ever bought these are so soft um they almost break in like chucks that's just how i feel i mean look at that look at that that's all plush only downside to these is that this this paint job, once it goes, it's almost impossible to fix. Cause I wouldn't know what color to even try to match to get this same type of orange. And I've had these for years. I bought these off of the Nike app back when it was so much easier to get shoes off of Nike and uh, 
sneakers I have. These are cool. They are like right up in here. That like this portion right here. Let's see here. For one for 180, I'd rather have another pair of Shattered Bradport 2.0s. For real. The pine greens. I mean, they feel just, I mean, these and the, and the taxis, they're in the same, same range. Good, solid shoe. I just can't stand all the cap, you know? Oh, these are, no, these are not a supplement for the Shattered Backboard OGs that's done in the same color blocking. If you don't have these, or if you don't have the Gatorade ones, you're losing, period. And you're definitely tripping if you think these are not gonna have some type of value way down the line after we're long and gone. And these right here, the uh, Hanzo's, the mids, this is still a solid shoe. So if I wanna wear black and yellow with a mid touch, I can do that. Do y'all even re remember these? You probably don't. But yeah, I right, stop, stop playing with me, bro. Like if you can't do a whole like Mortal Kombat ninja summon with all your Jordan ones, fall back. You need to get your weight all the way up before you come anywhere near me. Cause there's other variations. Like I can do Cyber Sub-Zero. I can do the other reptile. I can just keep going, but I'm not gonna do that. So, if you ask me, these are the most extra cap, overly anticipated Air Jordan 1 of 2022. Especially when I got these joints right here. If I really want to feel some nice, soft, soft leather on the entire shoe. If I want to feel something even softer, I can rock these. Again, this is nice. And you want to talk about overpriced and overhyped. Yeah, these are it. And they didn't come with extra laces. But I got y'all. So now, we're gonna lace them up. Show you guys how they look with taxi colored shoelaces. And that's gonna be it. Thank you guys for watching. I don't care about your feelings. You can always leave your comments. And like I said at the very beginning of the video, we'll play around for a little bit, but then I gotta get you up out of there. It is what it is. All right, you guys. Peace.